one of our ribbon woods, Plagianthus. This is a seedling that was probably planted maybe two years ago, maybe three. It's got some good height on it already. It's already near probably about two meters. looking very very healthy and you can see how much competition it's got with this big thick grass down here had to control the grass a bit while it was growing just to keep the base of it clear but uh, it's away now it's past where it needs to be this is a pretty exposed spot at the moment it doesn't look so exposed because there's a sycamore and a and a big willow back here and behind but in the winter time the willows lost its leaves and the sycamores lost its leaves and it gets some pretty cold southerlies southwesterlies coming blasting through here doesn't mind at all it's got a really nice form it's tall enough over the grass now that we don't need to worry about controlling the stuff and in actual fact it'll probably start to control the grass itself we've got it planted about a meter a bit more than a meter away from a couple of uh, black alder and they all seem to be sharing the space really nicely um, so we've been planting quite a few of these around the place because they seem so tough and you know we get frosts out here as well it's not extremely cold but we do get a decent number of frosts every year ribbonwood doesn't seem to mind like the wet soils did yeah, you yeah well that? it seems to like the wet soils absolutely but, you know we've got quite a lot of water comes off the hillside above us and comes through here it's part of the reason we've planted lots of alders and yeah the ribbon woods seem to love it as well this is a particularly good one we've got a few others that are a little bit younger a little bit smaller it's just so good to see just how well they can do it's real beauty and it's one of the few um deciduous yeah that's New right. natives yeah so if it's if it's really cold and uh, inhospitable you can drop its leaves and grow them back again and when they mature, they've got a beautiful shape, really lovely shape. So, you know, one of our, probably one of our favourite uh, native plants for our particular spot. Lovely.